67,980,222 cities and 58 pesos, made up of uh, 57,134,090, three cities, 58 pesos cash, and 10,846,129 cities worth of donations in kind. Now, out of the 57,134,000 uh, Ghana cities cash donations received, a total amount of 37,252,656 cities and 90 pesos has been spent on operations and disbursement to 13 organizations and institutions to fight against COVID-19 with a balance of 19 million uh, lodged in five bank accounts of the trust fund. We urge management to ensure that all donations, both cash and non-cash, are distributed to the appropriate individuals, organizations, and institutions to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Paragraph 93. Contrary to Regulation 78.1a and b of the Public Financial Management Regulation 2019, LI 2378, our vouching disclosed that out of 10.257 million, uh, paid via payment voucher number 0590507, dated 16 June 2020, to Ghana COVID-19 Private Sector Fund, a private organization for the procurement of medical equipment and personal protective equipment, only 10 million and 3,157 Ghana cities has been accounted for, with an outstanding amount of 254,000 203 Ghana cities not accounted for as at 31st December 2020. We recommended that the management should ensure that the COVID-19 private sector fund account for the total amount of 254,203 cities, failing which the total amount of 254,203 cities should be recovered from the COVID-19 private sector fund and same paid to the COVID-19 National Trust Fund account um and then it talks about some uh, out uh, uh, billboards as well but i think the two uh, paragraphs relevant to our conversation mm -hmm. are the ones i read so just to say that this uh, particular one on the private sector uh, fund is contained in the reports that has to do with public boards corporations and other statutory institutions That's you right. know there are several of the mm -hmm. reports the auditor mm -hmm. general's reports out there mm. Okay, uh, so obviously there's been a response, hasn't there, from the uh, private sector fund. Uh, but Senor Hossi is here, so uh, maybe we'll just get him to uh, summarize their response to this. Uh, Mr. Hossi, they say our 254,000B has not been accounted for. Please, where is it? We're asking <laughs> the Auditor General to disallow and surcharge, so yeah. we've, we've got yeah, to start. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I support the disallow and surcharge. Uh, <coughs> Um, policy position. So that is a one Ghana movement position in support of what Occupy Ghana has been doing. So that's that's in order. I think the biggest problem is maybe the more of the miscommunication. I mean, there's nothing like no amount has been, no amount is unaccounted for. For starters, I think I shared a document for, uh, with you uh, from the National Fund itself mm. that confirmed that it was the private sector that drew the attention of the auditors to the fact that there is a savings. We went into this arrangement with the National Fund, and to be honest, we've had a great relationship with the National Fund. Mm -hmm. I think working together, we've been able to deliver great public good. They were the largest sponsors of our pro Protect and Resource, the Frontline Project, mm -hmm. and they were also a major sponsor of our um, Ghana Infectious Disease Center project, which we call Facility 100. So it's been a great relationship. Um, I think this is just a bit more of uh, miscommunication. So this is not to go at anybody, but just to make sure there's a lot more clarity um, on the matter. So they gave us the amounts that um, were was noted there. Accurate. No two ways about that. And that amount is um, 10.257 10 10 million. million. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to buy, uh, procure some uh, PPEs, medical equipment, because that's what our project was about. Mm -hmm. And we started a procurement process, which was our procurement process, very transparent. Get officials from KPMG, officials from the outside as well, to sit in and observe the process. Very competitive. We got to numbers, sent a procurement report, effectively led by Kobna Atabidu, who is mm. our procurement special, specialist. Mm. And 
it was funded. Thankfully, I was to the good of Ghana. Mm. Some people failed to deliver on time, or some and some people also delivered the wrong quality. Mm. We rejected them because we had a very strong technical, um, biomedical um, engineering and then also service uh, technical committee to review every single thing. When I touch playing with public funds, when you are you, uh, managing public funds, you must be careful. The slightest thing, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> so you have to take all the steps. And we're very, very cognizant of that as, um, as, as a fund. That gave us an opportunity. We rejected, and we had to renegotiate. Not taking those same materials, but to actually award new contracts. That process helped us save these 254000 Right. And we reported it in our accounts. And when the auditors started their work with the National Fund, we brought it to the attention of the auditors ourselves. So the first thing that needs to go on record is that the auditor did not discover nothing. We are the ones who revealed that to them, that we have saved money. Because there's a document to show to support the 10.257, a procurement report to support it, contracts to support it. Possibly that could have ended it. But we don't work like that. We are a very transparent organization, very professional, and integrity is at the corner of our activities. So we saved money for the state and reported it ourselves. Mm. Then you come back and ask why we have saved money. Then we write officially to let you know how we saved the money. And I hope possibly other institutions should learn from how we save money for, for the country. And we also noted in our letter that we were going to apply it to other activities under the same project. This letter was written in July last year. Nobody came to tell us that, please don't apply it on anything else. Did you get a response? We didn't get a response. And the good thing is that we didn't need to have a response. Our donation agreement required us to notify the fund when we're going to apply funds for something else. Now, the funds that was given to us, every single item that we promised to procure was procured. Specific performance, 100%. As a matter of fact, there were a few surpluses we even gave more. And beyond that, we saved money. And we said this money we, we saved, we're going to apply it on other things. You didn't tell us not to do so. We didn't have an agreement that required us to seek an approval before we act. Mm. And the hospital has been there with a the lab that we were hoping to have reach the level of Noguchi. We started a process with Noguchi in 2020. We finished that process in May 2022 this year. And then awarded a contract for the equipment that will help us upgrade the Ghana Infectious Disease Center lab to the level of Noguchi, of a Noguchi lab. We've awarded contracts of about 1.33 million. And we are applying these 254,000 cities as part funding for that particular procurement. Goods have been delivered. What is there more to account for? And the interesting thing is that the lab itself is named after the National COVID-19 Fund, the COVID-19 National Trust Fund. So the upgrade we are actually, we've actually undertaken right now, which they are not funding everything, is going to a facility actually named after the same fund. So this whole argument or submission suggesting some kind of wrongdoing um, I think it's quite improper. Okay. I think possibly the, f the Auditor General may have asked that we have we, we be contacted for us to confirm whether we spend the money or send the money Accounts back. Accounts for uh, the when money? When you say account for, when I tell you I have saved money, fund. I've run an account, I've told you this is a saving. What else is there to account? But let me ask you The this. only thing is that have I utilized the funds? No. Uh, uh, At the time of the audit, we hadn't utilized the funds. But nobody asked us to return the money. And we have now utilized the funds, again, for public good. Let, let me ask this. The, no, the, you know, you said that the Auditor General didn't discover anything. You alerted them. Um, what we do know about the process that, the audit, uh, that audits go through is that if anything is discovered or unexplained, they ask the relevant institution to do a management report uh, to respond to that unexplained detail. It is after the the report has the, the, the response has come or not come during the stipulated time given them that that detail will then be added 
to the final report. So, I mean, help me understand how these two sit next to each other. You say you alerted the Auditor General to this. We uh, alerted all the entities relevant to Of course, one of the things we should all remember is that the private sector fund is not an auditee of the Auditor General. Yes. It is the national fund that is. Yes. But because the national fund gave us donations, they wanted to know how the donations went. Because you need to confirm. Did right. they even give us a donation at all? Mm. It's a process they have to go through. So we went through that process. And we told them, yes, we received this much money. So this they is came to you? They came to okay. us. Not the Auditor General. They came to us through the National Fund. Right. The National Fund, we said, yes. We sent a communicate to confirm to auditors that we really received these funds from your auditee. This is how we use the money. This is how come we came by the money. Mm. This is the process towards accessing the 10.25. But we utilize it this way and mm. saved so much. Right. But in spite of that, in their report, they suggest that there is money to be refunded. It's mm. outstanding. So w does that mean that despite the communication you gave, the National COVID-19 Fund told them something different? I, I, uh, so let, 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 let's, let's, let's ma manage the timing, the timelines right. The audit is for the period ending 2020. So the audit itself will happen somewhere in 2021. Yes. So 2021 will confirm to you that we actually notify you that we have received money. We have saved money. And we'll be utilizing it for X and Y. So at the time, the funds were unutilized. So Auditor General is right. But it doesn't describe it as unutilized. It describes it as unaccounted for. It becomes a different technical term that anybody will, will right. debate. It's as if somebody is hiding something. That's wrong. That's what I really want to clarify. Nobody hid anything. We told them ourselves. We added it to our account. So it was accounted for as unutilized funds. Mm. The other bit is that now that it's not utilized, the key thing the auditor did not be interested in is what is it going to be used for? If it's not going to be used for anything, then please return the money to the people of Ghana, which is legit. Mm. I guess that maybe sometime before the final management letter was issued, they may have gone back to the National Fund to ask, have the funds been utilized? If it has, account for it. If not, go for the money back. But nobody came back to us to tell us anything. The only time we got any conf information from the um, uh, National Fund was only on the 15th. Actually, we received a letter on the 18th of July this year, asking us to refund. Now, would you understand us why, where, where the refund request will come from? And we want a specific performance. We could have responded immediately to let them know. We've awarded a contract against those funds. But we wanted to make sure people really deliver. Because if we even award a contract and people don't deliver, the funds will remain unutilized. Thankfully, delivery or execution of performance has been achieved. And the funds have been applied. So we've written back to the National Fund to tell them that, one, the funds have been applied for X and Y, and sent them evidence, they will have to reconsider their request to ask us to refund. Have they responded? No, not yet. We've asked for a meeting. I think the meeting will be, will be obliged the meeting shortly. But if the National Fund still thinks that what we have used the money for is something they do not support, illegitimate as it may be for them to ask us to still refund the money. Um, as a trust and as a fund, with the reputation we all have, capacity we all have, we don't have a problem paying back that money. But it, just, it won't be founded in law. It won't be founded in reason. It will be founded in policy. For even the National Fund to ask us to refund the money in the face of the information that we can, we, we've, we've currently submitted. But we are indifferent about it. We are private sector players. God's been good to all of us. Very competent, capable people. 254,000. Yes, we can pay that Just back. For the but purpose of I think that the people of Ghana should make a decision. Are you more comfortable with what we have used the money for, for your own good? Or you think it's better we find that money back into the National Fund? A little clarity here. The 10.2 was for what purpose? It was for the, pep for the purchase of particular PPEs and medical equipment. And every single one of them listed in our donation contract was delivered. 
There was no short delivery on that front. And the 250, what you saved, Yes. what have you used it for now? Now, we've applied it to the procurement of laboratory equipment. Oh. Apart, because the whole equipment and consumer boats related, um, uh, related to it is 1.33 million. Obviously, 250, more than the 250. It's more than that. Oh. So the rest is coming from donations. From the 10 Ghana cities that Mamavi yourself, you supported us to raise. From what Kojo donated, Sami donated, everybody donated. I'm still an, That's, an ambassador. By yeah, still an ambassador, yes. <laughs> you know, so... It, the rest is yeah. coming from everybody's donation. Yeah, so that's why I'm also interested in yeah. what this yeah. money has been because used for. Her face has been to it, so it, yeah, there has to be there has to be accountability. Mm. Yeah, and so you know the fund, our fund, and how we are structured. One, none of us controls money. You know, none of us we control decisions. Agreed. The fund accountants are KPMG, and they make sure everything is done properly. Mm. Our fund managers, it's Stambic Investment Management Services. Stanley, previously Stanley. Mm. There are processes before you really get anything down there because they have to account for it as well. Mm. Then we have different fund custodians, both Acobank, Fidelity, and of course our fund, uh, fund lawyers, um, Ebella. So there's a whole structure. There's a technical committee. Mm. It has a bit of government players in there, the medical association in there. So we don't just do our things anyhow. All right. Um, uh, this is how I think we should wrap. Uh, you mentioned you know the option of refunding a few times is that what you intend to do i i, I, I do don't find it reasonable you know every day i wake up each morning i actually get get a bit upset about the management of this whole process mm. and i don't even see why anybody should even think of refunding but we are that flexible right i mean because we are it's not just me yeah, i will be paid that's number. a government facility that's a state i, I facility mean the, the, right the facility yeah. is a state facility yeah. mm. all right we we've worked together to deliver this. the people of ghana have worked to deliver it some of us were just privileged to lead that effort. But it's a facility that has been delivered by the people of Ghana. Mm. A lot of people sacrificed, donated all kinds of things to it. Mm. We've put the money back into that. Mm. Upgrading, giving us Ghana's first ever infectious disease center. Something that this country has just been talking about for 30 to 50 years. Mm. It was done in less than 100 days. And it's been upgraded in, an is in a facility that's named after the, the COVID-19 National Trust Fund. Yeah. And you're asking uh, uh, me to uh, what? Okay. So, but don't so, worry. It's so something we can't pay for. They haven't, they haven't so actually I, I, asked I get for that. that. I, mean, I get that. It's yeah. just, no, they have asked for it. They, uh, asked, with the, with they the asked before. With the letter, that with the letter they wrote. They wrote but that was yeah. before yeah. our yeah. response right. to right. show them what it had been used for. So Previously, so we told them we will use it for something. Yeah. You know, yeah. This, is, this is in the Auditor General's report. The Auditor General's report is quite literally the only government document I can think of. I'm sure there are others. It's the only one coming to my mind right now. That is accepted as it meeting the burden of uh, evidence oh, in, it's, a, it's in a criminal case. And in Ghana, in our courts, for criminal cases, the burden of evidence, uh, you know, what, what meets the standard of evidence is very high. This document meets it. Yet... You are pointing out a for, forgive me the question yeah. is coming. You are pointing out a discrepancy here. Has this affected your general view of the Auditor General? Oh, report? I am. I I feel a bit embarrassed by the report, but it's an institution we must protect nonetheless. It serves a very critical good for us. I mean, it just told, showed me how 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 fallible it could be. Hmm. Look, you state in the report that. We are, we are keeping this with private hands. Who could use it for private gain? We should even understand the institution. Hmm. We are not for profit organization. How are we even going to be trading with these funds? And the thing that saddens me is that when they went to, they never uh, came to us directly, not once, to tell us, look, we asked for this. What's the status of these funds? They didn't. They may have asked the national fund. But we are the ones that you are suggesting that may have been trading with the money. What do we trade? We are not for profit organization. We tr buy nothing. We sell nothing. Mm. All we do is to raise funds and deliver public good for the people of Ghana. Okay. You know, so I think that there are quite some weaknesses in there. Maybe some people are a bit too uh, enthusiastic, wanting to try and uh, you know nip one in on our side. But I'm sorry, wrong okay. address. Senor Hossi, 
uh, was the um, I think you were. I'm still, I'm still, the, still the manager. Still trust the man- yes, we yes. are not done. We, we're just trying to wrap up. We are running our, our Einstein Young is undergoing an audit mm. now, so we can finalize our accounts yeah. prepared by KPMG. Mm. See two auditors, so yeah. different things, yeah. you know. So, you know, so once we are done, mm. what we are hoping to do with the fund now, the residual funds, we want to set it up into um, a, a manage a, a maintenance fund for the Infectious Disease Center. Right. And I will be setting up a whole new trust okay. to take it, and I will hopefully wrap wrap this part of this entire project. Uh, but we are very grateful to the people of Ghana, mm. multimedia and other media houses for the support in helping us uh, mm. deliver on the project as we did. Right, Senor Hossi, everyone, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure, pleasure, mine. Pleasure All right, mine. Uh, there's more on the show after these. Awards, nominees for Actor of the Year, Ajete Anna, Mauli Gabor, Anthony Wood, and James Gardner. To vote for your favorite nominee, visit www.emyafrica.com and follow the prompt. Or like the nominees post on the EMY Africa Instagram page. Or text EMY plus the name of your preferred nominee and category to short code 1393. Voting ends on the 22nd of September, 2022. We know the dream is big. We know the passion gets you going and you have the potential to make great strides. The Chartered Institute of Markets in Ghana has always been an avid supporter of industry excellence and innovation. This is why we are excited to announce the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications. CIMG has designed practical courses to help you make that dream a reality right here in Ghana. We are geared up and ready to support you on this journey to becoming a world-class professional marketer. Register today and be on your way to greatness. For more information, call us on 055-274-6592. Visit our website, www.cimghana.org, or email us on info at cimghana.org. Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana, working for Ghana. Some institutions touch lives, leave lasting impressions, and are never forgotten. GCB, your biggest and largest bank in Ghana, is rewarding customers who activate their inactive account this season. From now till the end of October 2022, GCB is inviting all customers whose accounts have been inactive for over two years to activate their account and get exciting rewards. Go on, activate your account with any amount at any GCB bank branch nationwide. You may also activate your account on our online platform and enjoy the GCB. CB experience. Customers who activate the account with 100 Ghana CD and above also get a 50 Ghana CD reward at the end of the month. Don't forget, terms and conditions apply. Hurry, get your account activated and link it to your Ghana card. Contact our customer service on 0302 681 531 or on toll free on 0800 422 422 for any information that you may require. GCB Bank PLC, your bank for life. The Infantipim Old Boys Association MOBA presents the 7th edition of the MOBA Annual Engagement Series at the Yokuban Ghana Head Office Auditorium, Ridge, Accra, on Wednesday, 28th September, 2022, at 5 p.m. Theme, Hen producing graduates fit for the fourth industrial revolution with emphasis on finance, infrastructure, content, and human resource. Panelists, Professor Franklin Menu, former rector, Gimpa, Richard Lai, Headmaster, Morgan International Community School, Kwamena Esilfibura, founder and head of the Christ Church School, and Engineer Kwame Apia, ECG Ghana, moderator, Suleimana Abubakar, CEO, General Electric Ghana, sponsor, Ecobank Ghana Limited, media partners, Joy FM, Joy News, Joy Prime, Hits FM, Adom FM, Adom TV, Asampa FM, and Graphic Communications Limited. For further information, call 0503-186-258 
or 0243-177-333. MOBA. Gin Shakan. 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 Coffee in your cup. Enjoy on the set. It's the Super Morning Show on Joy. Now, listen, bring your family and loved ones this and every Sunday to Oak Plaza Hotel Lucida Restaurant. Uh, have you been there? Hey, it's no. proper food for the best Ghanaian buffet lunch in town. That's the new Sunday destination. So you yeah? should take me there. Oh, why not? Why not? You and your entire family. <laughs> on, on you. On me. On me. Nice. Ah, oh, how nice. <laughs> Complimentary local drinks. Water and entertainment. You see, I'm already saving money. <laughs> eh? Discounts are available for group bookings. That's why I didn't say you alone. Bring the family. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. If you want to make a reservation, call 020-511-1235. Okay? Or you can call the landline. It's 0302-210-630. All right? Oak Plaza Hotel, a good place for great food and memorable experiences. Uh, we've just been talking about SIM re-registration and SIM cards uh, that will be disconnected if they are not re-registered. So question is, have you re-registered your SIF line numbers yet? Well, in line with the National Communication Authority's directive to get all SIM cards re-registered, SIF line has demarcated special registration points close to your community to help you register your MiFi's and routers. You can also visit any SIF line shop near you to register with your Ghana card. Remember, no registration, no service. Register your Cephline numbers today to avoid disconnection. Cephline, better together. Better together is the word. Now, all you have to do this Momo month is download and install the Momo app and earn more points when you use it to send money or to buy airtime or data from your own wallet or just to pay for goods and services with a QR code or merchant ID. So don't slack because there's up to 5,000 Ghana cities to be won every single week this Momo month. You can also check your points by dialing star 170 star. Terms and conditions apply. Please note all winners will only be called by the official MTN number, which is 0244 300,000 uh, to redeem their prizes. Getting cash on the go from an APSA ATM is now so easy, even when you do not have your contactless APSA debit card with you. For the first time in Ghana, you can withdraw money from any APSA ATM with the APSA mobile banking app using a QR code. It is easy, safe, and convenient. Simply open your APSA mobile app, select ATM QR cash to scan the QR code on the ATM screen, follow the prompts, and get your cash out. It's that easy. That's another digital innovation that gets things done. And that's Africanacity. That's APSA. Download the APSA mobile banking app now to get started or visit the nearest APSA branch to sign up. All right. Now, listen, uh, kingdomstoreonline.com is the website of the day. Go check it out. Go see what's there. Uh, that's where you can buy anything you want from Kingdom Books and Stationery without physically going to any of their branches. So you pay with Momo across all networks. They deliver to you in your home or office in good time. And guess what? If you're in Accra or Tema, that delivery will be free. Terms and conditions do apply. At Kingdom, quality and affordability are their hallmarks. And, you know, retail prices of fertilizer have increased by more than 200%. There is a real threat to the availability of basic food crops in the coming months. As farmers are unable to buy needed fertilizer, Farmline is supporting farmers by making affordable fertilizer available to farmers through a discount program. We're inviting you to also support us by donating only 10 Ghana cities or more to raise 1 million cities to reach over 25,000 farmers this season. Simply dial star 887 star 4444 hash to donate. Your donations go directly to the farmers and directly towards food security in Ghana. Mama, I have a riddle for you. Mm. Shoot. He is dark, but they call him fair. <laughs> he is a man, but they call him a boy. Uh, he is not a menace, but they call him Dennis. Oh. Uh, when we come back, we have a little surprise for a very big man. Stay with us. Tell me, when was the last time you visited your dentist? 
within the last six months, one year, beyond two years, never. The Ghana Dental Association recommends seeing your dentist at least two times each year in order to maintain optimal oral health. My name is Dr. Gwendolyn Amakwe Baiche, and this is Time with a Dentist, proudly sponsored by Pepsodent in partnership with Ghana Dental Association. So why should you visit your dentist this often? The primary reason is for prevention. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. I know most of us have the habit of visiting the hospital or clinic only when we are in pain or discomfort. It is important for the dentist to institute some preventive measures to avoid dental disease, like fluoride application to strengthen the teeth and sealants to prevent tooth decay. It is expected that by brushing your teeth twice a day, you're able to get rid of the plaque that accumulates on the teeth surface. But once plaque hardens over time to form what we call tartar or calculus, your toothbrush is unable to get rid of this tartar. Tooth replacements, be it fixed or removable, like crowns, bridges, or dentures, also require regular professional dental care, as they can equally accumulate plaque and tartar. So another reason to visit the dentist regularly is to have your teeth professionally cleaned to keep your teeth and gums healthy. Early detection and diagnosis of diseases of the mouth and teeth is very important. These may seem minor at first, but the longer you wait to see a dentist, these problems develop into something more serious, which will require more extensive and expensive treatment. Also, if you already have an ongoing oral health problem, regular visits will enable the dentist monitor your progress and respond to any new development early. As the mouth is a reflection of the body, the dentist is usually the first to detect a more serious medical condition that you may not be aware of. These are medical conditions or diseases of the body that have an oral manifestation or show signs in the oral cavity. The dentist can also give you good advice on how to care for your teeth, what to do in emergency situations, the changes to expect with the children as they grow, and answer any question you may have. Bleeding gums is one of the early signs of dental trouble. So what should you do when your gums are bleeding? Visit your dentist. All things being equal, an adult should have 32 teeth. Prevention is better than cure and actually easier on your pocket. Consider scheduling an appointment with your dentist if you haven't yet. Remember to brush day and night with a fluoride toothpaste like Pepsodent. Your health is your responsibility. This campaign is brought to you by Pepsodent in partnership with Ghana Dental Association. Suffer to find your love, then you never know. Say you can't 
gas up, man them so bad to find your love, can you never know, you come gas up, man them so bad to find your love, can you never know, say you come gas up, man them so bad to find your love. Man join your gym now, okay, don't talk, come in like a TV in a nice long job, can you know, say, all of my niggas them ball, nothing you go ever, ever need at all. Man join your gym now, okay, don't talk, taking it every day, get me another rush, baby, if you want me. Catch a rabbit, but me say we don't be follow, follow. If it you, I go follow, and I hope you don't say you be Doro. You dey like Doro, Buji, oh follow, oh follow. If it you, I go follow, and I hope you don't say you be Doro. Ah, uh, you dey like Doro, Buji. Oh girl, I wanna be with you, but you know they got enough time for me. I wanna leave with you. I can't see reason why I can't let yeah, you go. And it's the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. You welcome back. And I promised you a, 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 a little surprise for a big man. He's dark, but they call him fair. He's a man, but they call him boy. Uh, and I wanted to say he's not a menace, but let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, aptly named Dennis. Our very own Dennis Fairboy has decided to, to leave us. Aww. Master, where are you going? You want to go to Abazi? <laughs> With all your plenty That's sense, you still want to go to school? Yeah. <laughs> eh? to enjoy the experience is just more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, guys. I mean, if you've been a listener to the Super Morning Show for any period of time, you know the name Dennis Fairboy, right? Uh, Dennis Offay has been a, a member of this team for years and his impact is felt every single morning this is the guy who every time you see us interacting with you on social media in one way or the other it's through the talented fingers of dennis fairboy you know he's the one who's been gathering your thoughts and views and opinions and sharing them with us so we can tell the world what you are thinking and it's not just on social media dennis is a proper hands-on producer of the show and uh, he, he plays a, a strong role in every single thing we do to bring the Super Morning Show to your attention. And look, the fact that he's leaving here, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. The thing has turned into a family meeting in the studio. We've got Joseph Akable here. We've got Abu from My Joy Online. Aww. Of course, um, uh, Senor has stayed on a little bit uh, to help us say goodbye to the, to the man himself. We'll, we'll hear a little bit from everybody. I mean... Uh, fair boy. Uh, uh, yeah, fair boy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Akable just sauntered in like he has something on his heart. Well, I wanted to connect, him. Like, wanted to connect him properly. I mean, uh -huh. those who follow our social media handles, uh, yes. once in a while you see um, old <laughs> videos. You know, uh -huh. old videos of either the president or the vice president uh -huh. speaking, uh -huh. saying uh -huh. that the fuel price will go down and those uh -huh. things. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a simpler way for people you to You came to put a target on his back. <laughs> Actually, no, I came to introduce him properly. <laughs> so I can connect to them. Yeah. With friends like these, who needs enemies? It, it eh? takes a lot of research yeah, to do, it to do that kind of work. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it especially does, because yeah. it's relevant. Mm. Very, very relevant. He gets Absolutely. the most relevant one. So it definitely will be someone that we are all going to miss. Yeah. Absolutely. It's go it's not going to be the same without you, fair boy. Abu? Um, interestingly, uh, it's not only research, but um, on Saturday mornings on the Weekend City show, I mean, he's up to a lot of mischief. <laughs> you see the the clips that we play, the funny clips mm -hmm. that we, the sounds that yes, we play, yes. and then um, we used to do the news at eight a.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's Dennis Victor wow. collaboration. Wow. So I mean, if you <laughs> hear the news at eight a.m. on Weekend City Show, wow, it's a fair boy joint. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh goodness, these are very big shoes to fill, uh, and I, I mean, I don't know how. It'll be, it's literally going to be impossible to replace Fairboy. He's made such a mark on all of us, hasn't he? Uh, there are people joining us on the phone. Look, it's, it's, uh, the thing is going international. Esinam Ose joins us. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, 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 Esi. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're fantastic. We miss you very much. I miss you guys too, very, very, very much. Mm. So, so we are saying goodbye to the Fairboy. It's, it's hard to imagine that Dennis is leaving. Dennis is, is joy. Hmm. You know, morning, afternoon, evening, Dennis is there, working, 
one of the safest programs one could have or one could ever ask for. And personally, I, I've, I, it's been quite a privilege working with Dennis. He's that support system. He goes all out for you. He'll never say no to a request. Never says no to work. Anytime you need him, he's there for you. And he, that young man is going places, and I'm super, 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 super proud of him. And I wish him the very, very best in his next journey. Ah, you're going places. They say they say you are going places. Then you 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 you, you, you go to Ashaman. <laughs> Anyway, 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 uh, we also have Leila Pencil on the line. Leila is a, a good friend of the show. Uh, Le- Leila, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, we didn't know that you know Fairboy. <laughs> oh, Fairboy. Fairboy is a mystery man. The Fairboy, mm. the, the dark Fairboy. Indeed. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's been great. He's been at the back, but he's been... I'm surprised that he says he's going to utilize the free SHS. Because yeah. and the one outstanding one that I had with him is the coverage of the science and math quiz. Oh, yeah. He did a brilliant job. And if you follow his status and all the handles, you see just how much mileage he gives to that. You can tell it's not just work, but it's passion for, you know, the, the excellence and for the youth as well. So I'm, I am happy, Dennis, that you have decided to go on. And I'm excited about Joy FM in general because you would usually not have people at the back end being appreciated this much. Um, they go quietly because, after all, who knows them? So doing something like this and giving him this much um, appreciation is also another piece that we have set. Um, at Joy FM, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak with him. Oh, thank you, Leila. Thank you so much for that. And I mean, you, you know, she's right. You know, here we don't care front end, back end. As long as you are saving our backside, <laughs> we love you. You know, and we'll definitely make sure that you are appreciated. Uh, Senor has uh, spent a little bit of uh, extra time with us. I'm sure he has a, a thought or two to share. Uh, while a few other family members are coming in one by one. Senor. Charlie, I'm a tun tun fair boy. I mean, how, how else could we really say? Uh, the lover of free SHS. First of all, two for parties come on. Do you see how that is? You know, I'm really, really proud of you. You're a Thank great you. guy. You've really brought a lot more meaning to social media news and all that. A lot more visibility to to Joy SMS and the entire fraternity. Thank you. And it's quite exciting the way you go and get the things from food, <laughs> and nobody knows who is creating this chaos. I'm sure Flagstaff has right now, dear. Fearless. Mm. I don't think you get out of this country. Oh. You better go through Togo. <laughs> Fearless. Uh, that's why. That's why he's saying he's going to free SHS. <laughs> uh, free SHS, dear. How do you reject yeah, him? You can't. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, Fred Smith is here, uh, one of uh, Joy News's illustrious editors. Credible, credible. Yeah. Kesko <laughs> mm. So I also like to say a few words about Dennis. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because I produce the major bulletins, yeah. I work with him on our social media. Mm. And he's been wonderful so far. Mm. Uh, he's helped us to grow, especially for midday, yeah. to grow our audience on social media. And I, I, I think that... It is all due to the work that he's been doing. He's very consistent. Even if he's not around, he has a way of mm. getting it done. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he can be at home and make you trend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or not or my trendy. Yeah. Wow. You know, so uh, I'll really miss him. Yeah, Charlie, we all will. He, he said uh, he's, he's been great so far. So far, this so is far. it. He's yeah. going. Yes, oh, no, he'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this, this house? Everybody who leaves finds a way to come back. To come day. back. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah. You never leave. Oh. Everybody who leaves. Uh, just when you think you're out. Come now, when he left, I was coming through BBC. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this that's joy for you. When you think you're out, we pull you back in. <laughs> oh goodness this is such a special moment it's a sad moment we don't want fair boy to leave but uh, look the truth is that uh, there's nobody like him yeah and so we can't just let him go quietly into the night like that charlie 
We, so we, we, yes, yes, if yes. If you're looking for a way to bring me down and eh, to mm-hmm. get me. Uh-huh. You can go through Dennis. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's the only one who can bring me down. He he has all the files. Yeah. <laughs> and the pictures. Uh fair boy, before you go, we have to do handing over. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Uh I'll show you which folder to download no, everything but I'm, into. I'm, I'm not handing over my life to any other person. Uh-huh. I still can handle it. <laughs> we will do now, it remotely. Now now you know what? Um one of the people who works closest with, with Fair Boy is uh our other scallywag, Aaron. <laughs> Yes, Aaron. Aaron. Aaron is uh, is is going to be a bit lonely now that Fairboy is going. Anamwa. Uh, basically. Mm. basically. You don't have anybody to pick on. <laughs> <laughs> is your degree accredited now? <laughs> oh yeah. The, the last time, the last time I checked it, so Raymond, I have to fact check Raymond. The last time I checked, my course was accredited. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yours is accredited. Yeah, yeah. but not his own. Raymond, you, you uh, check <laughs> what it is. Right now. <laughs> well, um. I mean, it's very sad, and I've known about this for a while, and I've dr- I was always dreading this day. Mm. So Friday I wasn't around. I mm. called Charlie. You sure say they go? He's like, oh yeah, they go. And it's very sad because I've I've known him from K and West. He mm. went here. Oh, you all went to advanced technical. <laughs> <laughs> I've known him from K and West. And hey, Charlie, allow the boy wants to cry. He wants to oh, cry. Oh no no no. <laughs> <laughs> and and I mean, what you guys don't know is I'm working here because of him and Victor. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so. mm. Mm. And they are all gone. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Don't so worry. You, so you, you get so to take the photos. Uh, yeah. So you have, a, you have a big job Off on me. your shoulders now. Looks like it. Yeah. They brought you in to, to, fi- yeah, I think to they knew what take they up the mantle. <laughs> mm. yeah, and you know, uh, hey, well, there, is, there, is no, there is no proper send-off without the representation of HR. <laughs> and so uh, our, our dear Ex- friend Grisha, is here. Ex- yes, Grisha. yes, yes. Oh, uh, my. Our dear friend is here. But my, my, my brother, have you paid us? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just had to rush in to say I'm still panting, but this this guy has been good. You mm. know, social media is, is a new thing yeah. within the media space, and he's one of the guys who made management decide to pay more attention to that space, mm. and it was yeah. 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 one one of the guys. Mm. Super boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know what he told me? He said he's coming back with a bang. <laughs> and, and and I told him, does it mean that? His current boss, he will boot him out. He says, <laughs> when, when he comes with so much knowledge, uh-huh. it means that his boss has to find and a higher role. Another <laughs> job to do. <laughs> Else. Or Baba Sakeno. Yeah. So, hey, violence. Papa Ray, we are waiting for you. Uh, Ray, did you come empty handed? Ah. Ray. Oh, he knows what arrangement is. Ray, we will return. Ray, Oh, he knows what arrangement has been done. Hey. With hey. private sector support. Hey, speaking of. <laughs> uh, Speaking of speaking of bosses, uh, the host of uh, the Geek Squad is here. Kobe Spikey himself. Uh, I try. I, I I like to think of Kobe as the digital spirit of multimedia. Uh, emphasis on spirit. <laughs> we are so so dread. So, so <laughs> Kobe, what oh, no. brings you here? Oh, it's not the the dark fair boy. Mm-hmm. The eclipse of a human being. <laughs> 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 I mean. Um, Fairboy has been one of the best people I've worked with, mm. if not the best. I mean, dare I say he's been the best person I've worked with. Wow, he's incredibly diligent, he's resourceful, and that in like I have to highlight resourcefulness. Mm. Dennis, I, I can trust Dennis with nuclear launch codes, and I know that no terrorist anywhere will get it. Mm. You know, you can ask Dennis. They are looking for anything in the world; he'll find it for you. Mm. He'll make things happen, and. He never gives up, and to think to think that he didn't come in as a social media person, but mm. you know, wove his way into it, and he he Charlie, the guy just be one top 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 guy, yeah, one top 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 guy. Like, wow. Wow. I don't think I a lot of things I was able to achieve would have been possible without Fairboy by my side. Aww. Like That's he would make it happen. Lot. That's you know, saying a lot. When I forget, mm. he's remembered. Mm. So sometimes I'm just there, like I've told him, oh, we're going to do this, and I. Like Spiky Charlie, everything make ready. Where you did? I'm like, hey, Charlie. Mm. <laughs> mm. Then I have to make, you know. Then I have to appear. He was like my boss. Mm. You know, Dennis was like my boss, and it did pay me, mom. Charlie, it did pay me. Charlie, 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 <laughs> Charlie. Abu, you're looking pensive. Why? Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm thinking of a weekend city show. Mm. You know, um, Dennis produces, or is part of Adam's produ- production. That um, is for the um, home affairs, home affairs so which comes just ride, before. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So a lot of the time, if you are in traffic or it's anything you want done, mm -hmm. you want some sounds downloaded, anything, mm -hmm. he's the one to call. Yeah. You yeah. know, and even when you are not up to it, you call them. He's mm -hmm. like, you don't have any problem, and mm -hmm. he delivers. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. so you are thinking about your fallback plan, eh? Mm. Yeah. Your, your problem is not <laughs> a problem. You <laughs> 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 like for clone who, Dennis. Who are you going to call? To clone Dennis. <laughs> Yeah, and, and listen, I mean, for, for those of you listening, you have to understand what it takes to have people talk about you like this, all right? He, he's, on, he's on the Super Morning Show team, which means he gets here before 6 a.m. But you've had people who deliver midday and 6 p.m. bulletins telling you that they work with him. You've had someone who produces a Saturday morning show telling you that they work with him. This guy is here all the time. And he's working and delivering for everyone. I mean, just think of what it takes to make that possible. Me, I am a stress producer, number one. I stress people when I need things done. Fairboy will testify. I can call him in the middle of the afternoon. Have you posted this? Have you posted this? Have you posted this? There is never a time I've asked Fairboy to do something and it doesn't get done. So now that I'm hearing all the other things he does, I wonder how he was doing mine. <laughs> and you know? You know you know, he has this incredible attitude as well. A lot of patience. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I've seen you angry before. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would just take it all in. You know, you can shout and do all your blah, 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 blah. He, he's always quiet, mm. listening, and then he would say, okay. So you know it. Fair boy, listen. Um, look. Uh, th there's nobody here who hasn't been affected by the great work you've done. Uh, you've heard from <laughs> only a few of the people who are definitely going to feel your absence. I wonder how it makes you feel. I didn't know I could do all this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just working in doing my normal work, but not knowing I was really touching lives. Mm. Yeah, and the parts about me not getting angry or, yeah. It's one thing about me, I've told myself never to get angry. So no matter what, I'll smile. Mm. Because there are a couple of people who have come to me and asked me, have you frowned before? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I do frown. Then they go like, no, they don't want to see that. Mm. And that's like a motivation for me to always smile because I know when I smile, mm. it makes people happy. Absolutely. And uh, there's probably a, a wall in his house that he has punched holes <laughs> into, you know, just to relieve his stress so he can come and smile for us. Oh, fair boy, listen, uh, we love you ever so much. There's so much you've done that uh, cannot be replaced. And uh, there's, there's only one fair boy. So as we, uh, you know, bid you farewell and uh, join you to cut this beautiful cake, which we'll take pictures of and put on social media for those of you who are hungry, uh, uh, we, we just want you to know that... This is not farewell. This is yeah, train or cobra. Yeah. Your right. problem is not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>